Well, good afternoon, good morning, um, good evening, whatever time it is where you are. Um, I just thought I'd do an intro for this next video because um, it's opened up a can of worms, as it were. I got uh, a weird letter the other day, yesterday, uh, yesterday. Um, a legal notice of a fine. And I answered the question, I got back to the, the people concerned on the internet and I got a, a reply today which you can see on this, this well, you can't see my uh, thing, it, it's on this blue one over here with the blue lines on it. And that is the admission that they were wrong and that I don't owe anybody anything but there's no particular reason behind it at all, it, they just said okay fine yeah nothing nothing's gonna happen forget it anyway we'll come to that later on when you watch the video you'll understand what it is however it opened another can because uh, all my mail comes in on apple gear i have uh, a macbook air uh, several ipads several iphones stuff like that and all my mail comes in a mac because it's much more secure and um it all links up nicely. However, getting your stuff over to Windows or Linux from Apple is purgatory. It's horrible. They do it deliberately because they want you to use their kit and only their kit. So, of course, I got this reply by email on uh, an iPad Pro, as it happens. And I thought, well, I'll, I'll try and get that across. So I copied it and it didn't come in as a PDF, it came in as a file on the internet, a page on the internet. So I made it into a, a PDF, that was easy. I copied it into books and then copied it over to the file thing. And then I plugged in all my transfer, I could not get it out. It wouldn't transfer, it wouldn't go across to a, an SD card, it wouldn't do anything. So in the end, I emailed it to myself and picked it up on a, an Android telephone which then got tran I transferred it to Google Drive. I had it on iCloud as well. And you can't even get it off Google Drive or iCloud. When it comes down, it's an empty file. It's too short, there's nothing in there. You can see the name, but nothing will open it, especially not Windows, which that's normal for Windows. Anyway, I finally managed to get it down by switching on some weird cookies on my I use Opera on Windows because of the uh, advertisement stopper and so I switched on these cookies and I've got I finally got the, the thing down and I've actually managed after something like well, about an hour to get the thing onto my desktop there which is good I could have printed it out of course I could from the Apple machine I can see it read it change it I can print it and this that and the other but I can't get it across from my Apple machines are over here to the Windows machines over here. Good fun. Thank you, Apple. Anyway, this is the start. Uh, you can see me editing the uh, film here with the uh, Renault 6 engine on it. Uh, and now then, of course, you, you'll be able to watch it and understand what the hell's going on. So, watch and enjoy. Ah, good morning. This is the uh, next video featuring my Renault 6 and it's a two-part video, this one. The first part is uh, pretty obvious from the film here. You'll notice if you look on the uh, right hand side, if I get something to point with, um, I'll, get, I'll get a brush because we're actually down towards the middle of the garage and I can't move the uh, Renault because the battery isn't in it anymore because I'm preparing to do some work. Uh, there you can see with this brush handle the water, cooling water, cooling liquid bottle which is well, pretty well empty. Uh, I noticed that uh, 
over the last few uh, weeks, I've been, um, or it's been blowing some white-ish smoke, you could see it in the mirrors behind, from behind I thought white smoke, oh, what could that be, and of course it's water vapour. Now having changed the cylinder head on this thing, with the new one, which I got, a newish one I've got, because here's the, here's the old one, and of course it was uh, this cylinder, or this part of the cylinder head, which has given me trouble. Although it did work, it had been eaten away by water here, and you can see it here. Although it does actually work, I got another one, uh, which I paid about 80 euros for, I think, and when it turned up in the parcel post, it was like new, fantastic. Uh, it even had on the valve stems, it had the uh, newer style uh, rubber covers, it had everything in there. I lifted the valves and they were absolutely like new. <laughs> Unbelievable. And as it happens in this one, you can see that this valve was still getting dirty, although I did run it like that. So I swapped them over and I put the new head on, which is on there now. But of course now I've discovered I've got this water leak. So I've checked the gasket, or the head gasket was new, of course, everything was new, everything talked down properly, verified. So I think I was sold this head because it has some kind of internal leak. Therefore, I've got to take it off again and get it, put a steel sheet across the bottom of here and pressure test it. Um, I've got a friend who can do that. So, I have to get that altar bits again and try it again. If it has got a leak internally, of course, it's pretty well scrap, which is probably why I got it. Uh, so I could put this one back on, uh, because it does, it does run, works. But, uh, well, think about it. Anyway, <clears throat> that's the first part of the... Uh, the video. So you may be wondering actually why there is a piece of paper behind the uh, wiper blade there. Well that piece of paper turned up the other day and just in a minute I'm going to transfer and change over to French because the person who did this needs to understand what it was. I got it through the post and it's a fine for this car in Lille. Now I've never driven to Lille in my life. I've been through it on the Euro style twice I think. That's the only time I've ever been to Lille. Anyway, uh, this car has got uh, a parking fine and what it is is an extension parking fine. It's not actually a fine, a parking fine. So there's no you did this on that date. It's an overrun, as if I'd paid the parking and stayed too long. The ticket was then out of date with my number on it. And you get 17 euros, well that's what that says, for over parking, parking too long. Now, as I say, having never been to Lille before, ever, in a car of any kind, I was quite amazed since we are 860 or 70 kilometres away from Lille at the moment and doing 860 kilometres in this with a broken head gasket or a head, cylinder head, would be quite difficult I think, or take a long time anyway. So of course when you get these things you have a chance to tell your side of the story. So I went on the internet and I uh, PDF my uh, documents and everything and sent in, I even sent a photograph of the car in the garage. And literally, that was, that was yesterday. This morning I got a reply saying, okay, finished. No, don't forget about it. They've rubbed it out. They've, they, they've annulled it. They've annulled it like Putin telling his truth about something. Uh, the ship didn't sink, for example. <laughs> it's, it's, it's as bad as that. And so I don't know what to do. I, uh, I think, because it was, believe it or not, this is the best bit, I'm supposedly to have parked in Lille on Rue d'Angleterre, the, the street, England Street. Now, having put these um, videos on uh, YouTube in English, in a French car showing the number plate, which 
apparently you should never do in France because people clone your plates. Uh, either somebody's cloned my plate, which I think, but I think having done this in English and got a fine in French in Rue d'Angleterre, which is really is too much of a coincidence, isn't it? Some French wag has seen the thing on the internet and I, that's why I've got this. And of course there is no actual parking offence mentioned because it's an overrun of parking, 17 euros. So somebody who can actually legally do this has done it. Now I'm intrigued to know who because they won't tell me because on the uh, large thing which I've actually made a PDF or that I got back on the internet uh, it doesn't say anything about anything. It says numbers of who did this and what and whatever. They, of course, whoever this is, knows what's going on. And so I'm going to do this a little bit in French for him. And here we go. I'll try. <laughs> Et donc, en français. Uh, un petit bout en français pour le, la personne qui m'a envoyé 17 euros de d'amende de, pour avoir resté sur un parking trop longtemps ayant soi-disant payé le parking à Lille, dans la rue d'Angleterre. Bah, C'est très bien, sauf que je n'ai jamais été à Lille en voiture, jamais, et surtout pas avec mon R6, ou ma R6, si vous voulez, qui ne peut pas rouler en ce moment, parce que ça, c'est la culasse. Euh, donc, elle est en panne. Donc, euh, si vous pouvez m'expliquer comment... Je suis arrivé jusqu'à Lille, sans culasse. Ben, allez-y, ça m'intéresse. Sinon, <rire> expliquez-moi pourquoi j'ai reçu, et si vous pouvez, cette amende pour 17 euros. Et c'était euh, en avril, en plus. L'amende, oh, euh, ce papier est arrivé ou quoi, presque deux, trois semaines après, chez moi, dans l'Aude qui est à 830 bornes, non, plus que ça, 880, de Delille. Explique-le-moi, si possible. Ah, de toute façon, si quelqu'un souhaite euh, avoir euh, les commentaires en français pour ce, cette histoire de, de voiture, ou ces histoires de voiture, R6, euh, je peux le faire, comme vous l'entendez, car euh, j'habite en France depuis 40 ans, j'ai été élu dans mon village ici, donc <rire> je suis très capable de vous faire ça. Euh, Mettez-le dans les commentaires, <rire> si vous voulez ça. Ça me fait rire, ce truc. Enfin, fin de partie en français, peut-être. And back to English. Uh, I can't do it in any other language. I do speak a bit of Flemish and some German. Uh, don't ask, because I couldn't do it reasonably in those languages. Anyway, that's it. Uh, car waiting to me to have the time. It's been very cold lately, very cold, so, and I haven't been able to get in here and struggle with this cylinder head, because I did, when it's cold, you just don't want to, do you? And in any case, I've been servicing the Honda, and I've been playing with the HY, the the uh, tuba, if you will. So uh, that's it for this one. Uh, most amusing, I think. Well, not the cylinder, that's, that's not amusing at all. But <laughs> I'll get to it very shortly. Um, I'm off to uh, the boat uh, in uh, two weeks, I think, for a while, just to see it. I've got some cushions to deliver. I may, of course, take that off because if somebody knows I've gone, they might come and steal my car, take it up to Lille and park it in the Rue d'Angleterre, or, or not, as the case may be. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching, listening, and uh, hopefully writing something in the comments. It can be witty or not, I don't mind. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>